G'day everybody, my name is Mel Spikes and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm here at St George Sutherland Shire Anglers Club private boat ramp and we're going to go fishing Botany Bay. Let's go. Oh, she's windy. new to this channel I am a solo fisherman out of Botany I like to fish Sydney Harbour Port Hacking and I will go as far as Long Reef and Balambi on a good day today we're doing Botany Bay the wind is a little bit stronger than I expected it to be but that's okay I think I'm going to head to Botany North to the heads and see what we can find around there. Explore some new areas that I haven't fished before. See what it's about. Sound out the terrain. Never know what's going to happen. Sit back, relax and enjoy the ride with me. Let's go fishing. Just at Henry Head, that's Henry Head right there, offshore, obviously that way. It's about a 1.2 meter swell, I'd say. And I don't think I want to go out there because you can see in the distance the waves are breaking at the head. A rogue wave and I'll be finished. And we all know I'm going to get seasick because I didn't plan on going offshore. Didn't take a tablet, so we're not going to go there. We're going to go that way. As you can see by the peacock hair, the wind is coming from all directions. It's going to be quite challenging to be able to film a session for you guys with this wind because I know how much you hate it. But nonetheless, I'm going to give it a go. I'm just next to Bear Island, I'll show you. Bear Island is there. I'm gonna sound out this area and see if we can't find a fish or two. I've not fished here before. I usually fish a lot closer but with the big waves coming from offshore they will crash on Bear Island from time to time and that means it'll be very dangerous. Don't want to get too close if a rogue wave, wave comes. So I'm just gonna sound out, see what's about. Maybe we can find a fish or two here. So far, it's just sand. A lot of sand here. I've got a few marks. There's the wreck, which is like the bommie right there. 
There's a few marks, but I've never stopped to fish them. Obviously, we don't want to get too close there. Doesn't look good. Just put the mini down just in case something comes up around this area. I'll be able to spot log straight away and drop a bait down over what I see. Happy days. I've just chucked a Yui to come back. There's a hole. I marked it. I'm gonna spot lock in this hole. I'll show you what it looked like. There. I'm in this little trench. See if there's anything here. Fresh human grade sardines that have been frozen and now defrosted. That's my bait of choice. It's beautiful. I have a very simple 16 pound half peely rig. If you don't know what that is, you can look up my other videos and learn how to make it. It is my go-to rig and has been for five years. I'm just gonna half hitch this tail on like that and that is a 20 gram uv glow orange sinker that i made myself attracts fish Surprisingly, there's no current here, even though we're just off the main shipping channel to the heads. 20 gram is going down nicely. It is 15 and a half meters deep. Let's see if we can find a fish. Otherwise, we'll move closer into Yarra Bay. See how we go in there if there is no luck here. That's the bottom. Make sure your sinker is on top of your swivel and not lost up your main line. You're kidding me. <laughs> it feels like a scorpion fish. That's a scorpion fish. Now, I had a feeling this place was going to be a bit touch and go with what was down there. It looked rocky and reefy, but it also looked fishy. This is not what we want. I'll do a couple more drops, but I'm pretty sure this is not going to be a good fishing spot. That's the first fish I have ever hooked up on my knees. I've never actually done that before. That's a first. There's a big wave forming right behind me there, which is going to smash into Bear Island. Which is why I say, be very careful here, there is a big bombing. There Snag. 
If there are waves coming from offshore towards Bear Island, do not go near it. You will get caught out. There was something else down there, but I don't want to stick around to find out. Those waves behind me are not attractive. I'm going to move closer in where it's safe. Bay is very rock and roll today, which isn't good. Kind of limited to where we can fish, as well as this random wind in every direction. Makes it hard. But we'll see what happens next. behind the fairy wharf. I reckon that's a kingy or a salmon. Straight through the tail spine like that. Turn it straight through the spine. Turn it. Half hitch. Hoping down there the wind is okay. That got to the bottom way too quick. Probably go a lighter sinker size. 13.5 meters. Jeez, first drop down here. Is that a flatty? Or a little snapper? Come on now. That is a flatty. That would be about 35 centimeters 36 centimeters i'm gonna let it go but pulling that up first drop at lapa tells me that maybe there's more and maybe my big girl is around that 90 plus centimeter lives here and she's waiting for me to catch her again so i can land her this time i'll let this one go Gonna drop a whole head down. See if we can attract that big girl. I will never forget that day. Okay, they're feisty. 
They're feisty. I reckon that's like a little snapper. They're hitting hard. They're hitting hard. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what this is. Weird, weird bang bang. No way is that a big broom. Oh, I should probably net these big ones here. That is a big ass broom. What is going on? I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in the tank with David and if I catch any big flatty we'll let this one go otherwise I'm gonna eat it on the barbie tonight. Look at the half pilly rig hookup right in its schnoozle. Beautiful specimen. Whoa! How you going, David? Daffo. I've just hooked this straight through the eyes and let it dangle. And if you're wondering what gear I'm using, this is an ATC Virtuous 3000 reel with 16 pound Sunline braid. I think I've got a 16 pound leader on and this is a NS Black Hole Amp 2 flatty rod, three to six kilo, one piece. This is what I call my half pilly rod. I've been using it for five years. The same combo. The only thing that changes is my line. So I'll go from 12 pound to 16 pound, 12 pound to 16 pound, depending on, I don't know. I feel like 16 is too heavy. I go 12 and then I realize it's too light, vice versa. It is a vicious cycle. While I was talking, that got taken pretty pretty quickly. Gonna have to be a bit more vigilant. Through the bone. Through the spine. Half hitch. Next up, big flatty, I hope. gonna feed that one down slowly while I feed myself KFC. lost that to a chicken
When I vacuum sealed these pillies, they came in average size, and this is jumbo size. And I throw down this jumbo size head, it's about three inches or so, it's very big, very thick. Hopefully there's no bottom dwellers down there like the Banjos or the Port Jacksons or the Shovel Nose. Maybe there's a big flatty. We'll see. We'll see what comes of it. Try the huge tail. I don't know. What car pitch this one? sure if that went in my mouth or not. Pretty sure that vomit went in my mouth. more of them and we'll move on guys it's very exciting to catch fish but I don't like it when we catch the baby snapper consistently it tells me it is not good and we should move Oh, 
walked in the Anos. It's a little tramp. Rubbish. It's pretty crazy to think these grow over one meter. Gonna drop this massive head. It's like four or five inches long. So my leader is about three foot and it keeps getting, my sinker gets, keeps getting caught on my leader knot. So I'm going to double my leader. That should help. Gonna do a double uni knot. lighten the sinker and see if we can attract whatever those midwater fish are to the bait. Seven gram yellow.
think he's got it. Ha! I don't know if I've got the hook up. I don't even know if the fish knows it's hooked up. So weird. It's probably legal, but I'll let the Trev go. So the midwater fish could be just all Trev. We're going to Molly. We're going to Molly. Protection there. See if there's any Sambo or Taylor about like there was a few sessions ago. Man, it's hot. We're going there. That is Molly Point, right there. Alright, two things. There's big fish here because I just saw a guy pull in a huge bonito and we're going to need to... There's a seal. There's lots of seals. Bloody hell. We're going to need to go heavier in the sinker. Molly's dead. I'll, um, I'll go for a little explore. I'll give this spot a, a bit longer actually, then I'll go for an explore and I'll come back if anything exciting happens. I had the rod in the rod holder and I've hooked up. salmon or a tailor because it is going straight to the surface. There's something following it. There is something following it. Where are you, buddy? There it is. I'll get it in the boat. Half pilly rig is in its corner. Perfect spot for a nice release. And that is a shipping channel salmon, I suppose. We'll let it go. Until somebody in my family can learn how to make me fish cakes, we'll let it go. Walking around there, see you later, buddy. I'm 
Kai, we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to drop it down approximately 10 meters because we are fishing in 20 meters. I'll show you where we are in a sec. I'll show you now. That's the head, that way. Green marker, green marker. Okay, so that's about 10 meters down. That is mid water. Make sure the sinker is on the swivel. It is. Rod holder. Rod cam. I just want to grab the rod. I know it's there. <laughs> there we go. That's another salmon. This is this is a bigger salmon. I'm so glad that that worked. Oh, you fuck, what happened? I didn't have the hook up. That's okay. That's okay. One more time for Rod Cam. Uh, so it's way too hot for me to be filming the phone is not having a good time if I catch a fish I'm gonna show you but I just want to show you the sounder that is the sounder you can see bait predators and other stuff look at that big predator forcing that bait into that shape It's a good salmon from Tugs. Welcome back everybody by the way. Salmon from Tugs. And I wasn't expecting. Yeah, salmon! That would be close to 60 centimeters, and I'm just at Tugs. I suppose it's good that that happened. I wasn't expecting cat to catch another fish today, but I've got one bait left, and then I'm done. I'm out of here, so let's see what we can catch, and hopefully, the phone stays cold enough to film. Second last bait. Voila. 
I lose this bait, it's probably a good time to announce last video's winner. Congratulations. In that area right there is the winner of last video's competition. Well done. You've won a mystery pack. So if you could get in contact with me via email or Facebook or however you can, I will send that prize out to you as soon as possible. Also, has anybody seen Bronwyn? Remember the video I did when I had four weeks off? Well, the winner of that video has not shown up. I've tried to contact her, but I've had no luck. So, hashtag find Bronwyn. If we could do that, that would be great. I don't want to let the Barbie and Ken prize go to waste. That's it, we're done. I'm gonna pack up and we will head out of here. We've run out of bait. And it was a very, very slow day. Do I go home or do I play with lures somewhere out of the wind? Find out soon. I suppose it's five o'clock, I better go home. So I'm going to do a little giveaway in this video, even though it is a short, not very eventful video compared to my normal ones. It'll be a Spikes merchandise pack and sinker pack. So you'll get a hat, you'll get sinkers, you'll get all the other Spikes things I have. So all you need to do in this video is comment the word Sambo because that is the fish of the day, Sambo. You can use it in a phrase, you can use it on its own, whatever you want. Write me a song about it, I will be very happy if you did that. But yeah, Sambo, and the prize will be worth about 200 bucks worth of spikes gear. So comment, please, it helps me. Thank you. my mate and he said have you got lures on the boat and I said yeah and he said flip away and so I did and I'm onto a fish oh it's foul hooked in the in the throat <laughs> that's on a a lure that I got from EJ Todd the brand is Molix. Get rid of that. That that is the lure. It's like an alien bug that's red but see-through green. Try that again. Seven casts later and I've got a little flatty on the boat I don't know how we're tied up here we're a bit we're a bit kerfuffled 
Oh, no, we're not. That's just a nice hookup. There you go. That's a nice flatty. These are the lures. I found the pack. Mollies. And they look like little cockroaches with alien antennas. Anyway, I'll get this one back in and I'll see you in another 30 casts. Sorry, mate. That was not good. Sorry. Sun's going down. Okay. You might be able to see close up of how I've put the rubber lure around the eye and then I've tied my knot after that so it can't slide down off the hook. This is a cheap Kmart jig head as well. So nothing fancy here at all. If I um, catch another fish, I'll come back. As much as I'd like to stay and watch that big girl go down and keep fishing with lures, I'm not going to be able to fit in the ramp very soon, so I better get going. The worst thing about the um, St George Sutherland Shire Anglers Club ramp is that when it's low tide, it's freaking low tide can't get in there it's just basically mud I'll be propelling through mud if I leave now I won't be propelling through mud Damn windy all of a sudden. There's a massive sandbar just there. Oh, she's not happy. That's here where we're going through freaking mud. Okay. Just gotta keep on this side. That's so bad. Trim's right up. There's a the sandbar. Tie it on. I've got to do this quickly as well because if the boat turns around, I won't be able to drive it on the, the trailer. Okay, go around there, grab the boat here, grab the boat and turn it. 
So I've tied it on there. I'm going to turn it here. I'm going to go through here. And that was a lot easier than normal. Hey. Tie that like that and the boat will stay nice and straight and then I'll be able to drive it up. Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. gonna be a very slippery entrance back on I'm gonna try and do this slowly and the problem I face is it's almost flat there's no angle for the boat catch see what happens Come with me, we'll release this broom and then I'm going to go home. That's a nice fat broom but the amount of legal fish I've released here is out fucking standing. There's a whole colony living here I reckon. Big broom, flatty, other species. Don't pretend you're freaking dead bro. Try to kill me several times. See you later, buddy. sludge from the river is on the boat so I'm gonna have to clean it it's nasty
that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate every single one of you who take the time out of your life to watch what i get up to and enjoy it with me so don't forget the competition it is a big prize don't forget the special word go back if you did take care stay safe have fun hashtag find bronwyn pretty sure that was her name sounded like a bird up there on the roof probably a pelican anyway hashtag find bronwyn we've got to find her because she needs to get her barbie and ken prize anyway have a good week i will try and make a video next weekend take care stay safe have fun again thank you i appreciate you see you on the next one cheers p.s every one of you boaters should have this in your boot it is salt away it is a salty semen hoozle noozle thing and it's a bendy hose for cleaning the caravan according to Bunnings. So, and a sponge. Keep it in your boot. You can always clean your boat. You don't have to do nothing at home. Take care, stay safe, have fun again. See ya.